What's good, y'all? Thank you for tuning in. Today I'll be bringing you a quick custom. It's um, these aren't a failed custom. They just didn't come out how I wanted them to come out. They're supposed to come out like this with the white bottom and the black sock liner right here, but the bottoms they, they didn't want to turn out white because I, I actually did it on this pair first, and you see I already tried dyeing the bottoms, and I actually do did another custom on them. But that didn't end up working out either. So today, I'm actually gonna bring these back. Gonna do something different. I mean, I'm obviously colored, but not too much of a big change. But something I really, I think I like personally. So, yeah, I hope you guys like it. You guys enjoy. <laughs> Eighteen karat gold. It's the uh, pearlescent. I actually like. It. I never tried it, but it's nice. So my next next step is on the uh, older white parts right here. Make it black. Angela's flat black. That's kind of why the uh, bottoms. You know, I was in the process of being dyed, but I'm thinking like, okay, I'm, I'm gonna just order some some, some social shoes. Just save myself some time or whatever. But um, if you see how I, I went nowhere the white a little bit and all that stuff, you know, it's still, still nice and even. So all I gotta do is just, I'm gonna tape up the gold and I'm gonna go ahead and just lay the, lay the black on it. You might notice that um, I didn't really prep it with acetone or combos, which you're supposed to, but that's more for like a shoe that um, has not been prepped yet. These were already prepped and I painted over them. They were already prepped and I already painted over them. So there's no point in me going over it and doing it again. All I gotta do is just wipe it down a little bit and go on and get straight painting. It's no point in me paint, uh, prepping over it, prepping over the paint. So yeah, let's move on to the black. <laughs>
So here's one shoe done. I went ahead and coated everything with Crylon Matte Finisher. Oh, and all the black. You see, I started not all shiny and stuff right here. It's a nice little finish. And after I did the black, I went ahead and tape everything off, all the black off. And it hit the golden part, piece, portion, however you want to say it. This strip right here, this whole strip. I went ahead and hit that with Krylon Glossy Finish. And that one I went a little bit heavier because I wanted it to be glossy. And then after that, I hit it with a little bit of matte finish. So I guess it's not too glossy to like when the light hits you, you can't see it. You know, like you see it right here in the camera right here. Uh, let's pick it up. You see that? And you can't really, it's just too much light. But um, that's this shoe. So now it's time to move on to the next one. And this one's gonna be a little bit easier. It's not gonna take as many coats or nothing because for one, it's already prepped, so there's no reason for me to hit it over as this one or nothing. Um, I had to do the sock liner. So I'll show you that, show you how you guys do that. And the midsole is already black. So just hit it up a little bit, but this white portion right here is really gone. Not take me that much to cover it up with gold. So yeah, let's get straight into it. So we're done with the uppers, the upper part, this part. Uh, I freehanded, I freehanded the uh, outline and then I taped it up. I have a little touch ups to do, but I'll do that later on because I'm about to um, tape the, the golden part and do the bottom of it, which is next. And after that, I got the back, back part. There you go. And I got the lettering. There's your lettering uh, right there. There you go. With the air Jordan, you, you don't know And the bottoms, I'm actually not gonna paint the bottoms just yet because I, you heard that. Um, I'm planning on buying uh, soul shields for them, but that's not gonna be until another custom I got coming up. Which will be on my on here too, but I'm just planning on finishing this, finishing these, um, set them up for a little bit, uh, finish. I'll actually show you guys. Might as well. Let's see if I can. So I work on a pair of Pure Money Sevens. I'm actually gonna paint the bottom of these too. Making these all black, so I'm just figured like, okay, well, if I'm gonna do the same thing to these, I might as well just buy two so shoes at the same time. That way, I ain't gotta worry about paying for buying these, and then gotta wait so I can buy these. So yeah, 
So next step now is just the bottom, this, the midsole. So I'm not gonna pick the bottom, so I'm just gonna do the sides for right now. Probably pull over a little bit, but just to, my plan right now is just do the sides, just to get it over with. Um, and then probably about probably about a week, I'll buy the bottom part and put the sole shoes on. But then I have this back piece and then a sock liner. And I'll show you guys how I did that, how I'm going to do that, and how I did it. So yeah, let's get into it. So I'm done with the black, and I did the touch-ups on the gold. Um, one good tip that I've learned from um, what's that one dude name? It's one person is sponsored by uh, and it's just direct. He works with him. He does videos and stuff like that. So, um, it's always best to overlap than underlap, and what I mean is like, for example, right here, if. If you are going, it's, it's, I mean, you're never supposed to rush a taping or prep. Whenever you do prep or never rush it, it's, it's better to take your time. You will hear this from everybody and their mama that it is always better to take your time because at the end, it's always worth it. Now, let's say, for example, right here, I was playing in the black on top of the gold. I don't want black on the gold. Therefore, I might, I'm going to try to hit it down the line. If I can't hit it down the line, I don't I don't want it to go over where I can see the gold when I'm when I'm looking at it I don't want to see the gold I'd rather have it on top of the black so once I'm done painting everything I take the tape off and there's that one strip of gold right there so all I gotta do is just go over there with a detail brush and hit it up and there, therefore I know I know it's not you know I know it's good but the next step is finishing up the lettering, making these black. Take that off. Making these black and making the sock liner black. It's not a hard step at all. Should it take me that long? It's more of a, I'm going to tape this off, but I'm, I'm not gonna trust it. Why? Because the make shit i'll be using is too watery so it might seep under the tape it might go over the tape and actually make just make the tape wet and make this all have blouchy black spots but <clears throat> next step is to tape this off and to paint the sideline i'm gonna just use um use flat black this is this one's empty this one has the paint i'm gonna put a one-on-one -on -one ratio of Black, black paint and then water. I recommend JC900, but since I have to wait for it and I actually want to finish these tonight, I'll just use water, which is it's actually the same thing. It's just, you know, thins out the, the uh, paint and it won't leave it as rough as it would just going straight paint. One tip I do have a recommend on that is that it's always better to go, well, let's say I'm gonna do the whole bottle. I'm gonna fill it up with black to about the lettering, and I'm gonna free fill. The, I'm gonna put water in it just about right there. So about, so I'm gonna stop about right here. If it's water first, I'm gonna stop about right here to fill the rest of it up with paint, just so it's not so so watery 
and it, it will take less coats to, to cover up. I might be able to finish it. If I hit it just right, I'll be able to finish it with two. But the thing about this is that it actually uses up a lot of paint. So I will recommend using using um, GAC 900. I personally bought a, a, a one ounce flat bag off Angelus Direct just for this project. So that's why I'm really not so worried about it. I actually did order a four ounce coming soon, which will be for the Pure Money 7s I'm working on. So yeah, let's get to it. So here we go guys, it's the finished product. <laughs> Overall, I do think these came out really nice. Um, let me know what you guys think down below in the comment section. So yeah, first video, hope you guys enjoyed. Be ready for more. I do have more coming out. I actually have a lot of things. I'm I'm actually gonna start recording now. At first I wasn't I was more just um you know do it before or after pictures or just upload a picture at all but now I'm starting to like the feeling of you know recording and all that and actually showing you guys and all my work and tutorials and stuff like that. So hope you guys enjoy. Please leave a like. I wanna get this to at least fifty to hundred likes. I mean I know fifty 50 could be probably like for sure, 100, maybe touching it at least. Please leave a comment below section. Let me know what you guys think. Let me know what the, everything. Um, I will leave the, uh, link, a link in the description to all the materials that I use. So, hope you guys like it.